Tonight, we are at Camp Wright's Fall Fest to take a tour of their haunted village. But first, we're going to learn a little bit more about the event. So right now I'm here with Caroline. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Fall Fest? Absolutely. So we have the Fall Fest every year. It benefits Christ Church, Camp Wright. Um, the Ken Island High School drama team does the Haunted House and a couple of Boy Scout troops. So we're very excited. The weather is great. And I hope everybody can come out. So what kind of other events do you have ongoing tomorrow with the daytime Fall Fest? So the Fall Fest itself will start at 11 o'clock. Um, we have children's games, we have some carnival, you know, like little carnival games, uh, bouncy houses, we have a bunch of art vendors coming out, some bluegrass, Pam the Kinder Singer um, will come out and entertain the kids earlier in the day, and uh, great food and beer, bluegrass, and barbecue, basically. <laughs> so right now we're here talking to Caitlin, and can you tell us about the Fall Fest? Sure, this is a partnership with Christchurch, Kent Island, and they put on the Fall Fest every year here at Camp Wright. So we have the youth group, we have Kent Island High School Drama Club, and everybody comes together and we put on this event for the community each year. And if someone wanted to learn more information about Camp Wright, where could they find that? They can find it online, specifically on our Facebook page, as well as our website. Um, we put updates up there pretty frequently, and um, we also put information about rentals there as well. Now I'm here with Sophia, the president of the Drama Club at Ken Island High School. And can you tell us a little bit more about the Haunted Village? Uh, yeah, sure. We've done it for three years. It's our third year. We always have such a good time doing it. The theme this year is Haunted Farm, which goes really well with, you know, Ken Island. And we're really excited. It's going to be a scary time. And what kind of events do you have coming up? For our theater club, we have a play next next Thursday's opening night. It's called Chaos and Camelot. It's really funny. It's a comedy. And then in the spring, we have Phantom of the Opera. So check on Ken Island High School website for more details. Okay, thank you so much for talking with thank us. Thank you. Right now I'm here with Ben Cassell. And can you tell us about the history of this event? Sure. About the, This is our fourth year. In our first year, we actually started in uh, it's a, actually one big cabin over there. Uh, it's a lot bigger. We actually built with walls with hay and we made a maze and the kids, we, we figured how can we do this with not much money. So we got the kids from Ken Island Drama Club and they've done a wonderful job. Okay, so we did it. We told everyone that this used that Camp Wright used to be an insane asylum and there was a lot of ghosts and from the treatment and it really was pretty scary. But we had to make a deal with the bishop because this camp is owned by the Episcopal Diocese of Easton. And so we couldn't do anything devilish, not a whole lot of blood, you know, those kind of things. So that, that was the, the challenge to the kids in the drama club to come up with these things. And then the second year, we stayed with that theme, but we moved to these cabins. And with that, it was a haunted, uh, a, a solemn, okay? I don't want to use it insane. It's not politically correct anymore. But anyway, it was an asylum. Then the following, then they went to a circus last year, which was wonderful. We had lights all over in the trees. We had kaleidoscope music. And we had the, the, uh, the girls dressed like they were in a circus with tour guides going through the cabins. And we, the clowns scared a lot of people. And we, we drew almost a little over a thousand people last year. But we did it two Saturdays. Uh, we stopped, We tried not to do it on Fridays because we compete with the high school football and Queens and yeah. Canal and everything. But this year we didn't have any choice because the drama club has a new play opening next week on Halloween because we really wanted to do Halloween. But so we, we crammed it into a Friday and Saturday this year. And they chose, they always choose the themes. And this year it's a haunted farm. And it's, they did a wonderful job, as you can see. I don't know if you've ever been back here when it's not dressed up, but they do a wonderful job. And we've raised money, we donate money to the, to the camp, to the drama club, and that's, that's where the money goes. So it's, it's, it, we help the community, and we help ourselves, and we have fun. So I'm here with Anne Marie, and she's going to take us on a tour of the haunted village. All right, y'all, yeah. here we are, my brother Cletus' house. He has um, unique abilities. Cletus, y'all ready? Come on, y'all. Hey, please. Who's Cletus? He's you. Remember? No, I'm not. Hey. <laughs> Get out. Come on, y'all. <laughs> All right, everybody, say it again. Come on, let's go. Oh, this is Andrew's sister. Oh, come on. 
the bar where we keep our heels. Hey y'all! Welcome to my barn! Silence! <laughs> Thank you for watching and happy Halloween.